Hello, welcome back to MED, Friday Tech Video, first one of the year. And today we've got Steve looking at cylinder heads. So what are you going to talk about today, Steve? Okay, I'm just going to show you some of the faults that some cylinder heads come through to us with that need modifying. Okay, so these are ones that have been sent in on exchange? Well, basically customers send heads in for us to modify to race specification. Yeah. And these are some of the faults that you can end up with. Okay, all right, so, number firstly, one. This is a head, all good, apart from, you'll notice, on the rocker post stud hole, there's a monster crack. Got it. Not many people look for these, but it can be here, 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 or here, or obviously on the valve seats where a lot of people look at. So that one's quite obvious on that there, That one's quite it? obvious. There's one next to it that I'll show you now, which is a little bit more than obvious. <laughs> it's completely scrapped. How's that happened? Has it been over tightened? What's happened is somebody's put the stud in, they've thought they'll lock it in, they've locked it in and locked it in further and further and further, most probably with a pair of mole grips, yeah. until it's literally torn the side of the casting away. Is it a problem with the casting as well sometimes? Well, or? they are, as you'll see. Some of them are a lot thinner than others. This one particularly, look, if you look here, this one's very, very thin. Close on the edge, yeah. yeah. This one here is even thinner. This one, look, there's next to nothing left of it. Yeah. So if, if you wind a screw in there with a pair of mole grips on the screw, you can imagine it will just open up. Yeah, okay. So scrap, not scrap, but not particularly good. So you wouldn't want to use this on a race engine then? Well, it's getting to the point now where the head castings are getting so hard to come by, good ones, yeah. maybe we'll have to bore that out, put an insert in it, and that will be reused. So that's an early one as well, isn't it? Because flat. This is flat. This one's flat also. So these are in quite a lot of demand, I suppose. Exactly for the historics. Yep. Yeah. So okay. So we've got to sort of make good of what we've got at the moment. Right. Okay. Next problem is cracks on valve seats. You'll find numerous places they can crack from. Worst scenario is I don't know where the, this one. This one. This one actually was sent in. Looked all good till we cut the seats and then it's got a little tiny hairline it's tiny. straight up there and down the other side. You couldn't even see it until the valve seat was cut. You can just about see it on there now. I mean, it's Blair's it's really minute. good at spotting these, isn't yeah. it? So. This one again, this is where they normally crack, yep. across the valve seats, here, here, here and here. The next place they crack from is as this one and it's cracked just there and it runs up the chamber wall, across the head face, and into the brass plug. Right. And they either crack from there, up this way, or from here, up this way. Never ever see one here, or opposite end. It's always the centre prong. Okay. Okay. What would be the result then of using a head like that if it's cracked? If it's cracked, it will obviously do one of two things. It'll either leak water straight into the combustion chamber area. Yeah or the compression will be lost. If it's cracked across here, yep. obviously as you're compressing, the gas will blow straight out of the exhaust, so and you'll lose compression. Especially on, on that one in particular, it's really hard to even see that there's a crack there. I mean, even now? Yeah, I mean, quite often, do you think if, if somebody was doing that at home, reworking it at home, they might not even see that they it had a crack? Won't because you, what, what you will find is a lot of people, if they modify them, they'll modify them first, cut the valve seats later, and that's the last thing you find. Right, okay. The crack. So you spent a couple of weeks doing it? A couple of weeks of evenings, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and it's gone. You see, even on these, you will see, if you look at the valve seats, we always cut them to see if they crack first. Right, from experience. Well, to be honest with you, we've even finished complete race heads and cut them for the second time and then found the cracks. Ouch, and that's what? That's three days down the... Three days of full-time machining. Exactly, wasted. Yeah, and all the machine time and everything else. Yep, labour, machining, electricity, Ouch. carbide, stones, complete waste. So what can somebody do then? If they've, if they've got a head and they want to have it modified, how are you going to know about these problems? Well, there's only two things we say to people now. If they want to send them through to us, put an identification mark on your cylinder head before you send it, yep. so that you know if we find a crack at a later date on that head, it was your head that we found the crack on. <laughs> okay. Another one issue on race heads, not a problem on a road head, yeah. but if you send heads to us for race conversion, we can't convert them to race use with lead-free inserts. 
Okay. This is a head we'd insert this in. It's a very good head. So this is a, a later one then? It's been... This is, yeah, this is a later, what they call A plus casting, yep. which is not flat across here. Okay. It's got the scalloped. So this is A plus. Okay. This one, believe so, it or not, has been sent to us by a customer in the States yep. to be modified for a race head, and it's no use. So yep. we've got the carriage plus the import duty. I know it wasn't very happy about that, but it's uh, unfortunately it's one of those things, yeah. isn't it? But so this has got unleaded inserts. In. Yeah. So if you just put your finger around the valve seat, you will see at the bottom, just there, there is a line, and the line goes concentrically all the way around the valve seat. Okay. And that is an insert. So the insert is basically from there, up there, across the top and you will just see the edge of it there. Okay. And what it is, is a ring. You bore the hole, yeah. you press the ring in, three-fourth hour interference fit, and then it holds in place. So that's just on the exhaust valves? Just on the exhaust valves. Now, the only downside to that, if you try and build, making a big valve race head, when you cut the insert, uh, sorry, when you cut the seat out on the inlet for a large valve, you will cut the seat into the insert. Right. So then there's no material just here to hold the insert in. So it might fall out? Well, it will fall out. No, right. it might. It, it will because there's nothing there. It's literally got yeah. a gap there. So there's no interference holding it in. Yeah. And it will just fall out. So what you're saying in, on a race head, you need to use an early type? Well, some of the A plus heads were non lead free. Right. But most of the non lead free ones are the pre A plus castings. Wow. Okay. So we're looking at 30 year old castings then. That's. Yeah, more or less, yeah. 30, 40 year old castings, yeah. most of them. And that's all we can use for race heads? Unfortunately. There you go. So, what can you do with that then? That's a road, this one, this road will head. end up as a road head. Yeah. Um, we've had to do something to help the customer out. It can't yeah. afford to send them there, no, no, not from the States. So, we've picked one out of our stock, found them a good one. We're having this one and we're doing it. So, a deal. these are getting quite low on stock now, then, in terms of they are. what we've we're got. We're asking what people now if they want a race head. Can you please source your own head? Yeah. Uh, and then we will do the work because they are few and far between. As cylinder blocks, as yeah. crankshafts, albeit that the cranks are remade and yeah. steel billets now. But uh, there you go, it's a bit of an insight into the work that goes into cylinder heads and, and the problems you might have. There you go. Cheers, Steve. Cheers. Bye.